Hello, my dear ones, and welcome to another episode of Improving Your Life Through Knowledge. Today, we're going to talk about the magic behind the number nine. Number nine, as you can see, is shaped like the golden spiral. It is basically the Fibonacci sequence. If you remember in the last episode, the Fibonacci sequence is the following number is the sum of the numbers um, in sequence. So zero and one is one, one plus one is two, two plus one is three, three plus two is five, five plus three is eight, eight plus five is 13, 13 and eight is 21, so on and so forth. And when you put that into geometric shapes, a one by one box, to a two by two, to a three by three, to a five by five, to an eight by eight, to a 13 by 13, to a 21 by 21, you get the number nine or the golden spiral. So everything in the universe evolves around the number nine. So let's look how exactly that that works. Okay, let's, let's break it down to how physicists, mathematicians, geometrists uh, look at numbers. And they look at numbers based on a root on a digital root, which basically is a six, single digit number. But when you have the sum of a number of the digits in that number, so the number 10, the digital root would be one. One plus zero is one. 24, two plus four is six. So digital roots give us a better understanding of the math involved in the numbers. So let's look at a simple uh, angle of a square inside of a circle, right? So you have 90 degrees. So 90 degrees is nine plus zero is nine. 360 degrees, three plus six plus zero is nine. Tesla even once said, if you want to know everything about the universe, all you have to understand is 369. So, quite fascinating. And when you look at the digits on your hands, and let's say the left pinky is zero, the ring finger is one, the middle finger is two, the index finger is three, the thumb is four, the right thumb is five, index finger six, middle finger seven, ring finger eight, pinky nine. When you add the opposing finger, you will always get nine. Zero and nine, nine. One and eight, nine. Two and seven, nine. Three and six, nine. Four and five, nine. It's also the same when identifying in addition. If you add anything with the number 9, you can simply take the 9 out and it will be the identifier. So, 19. You can take the 9 out, the digital root will be 1. Or you can do it the long way. 1 plus 9 is 10. 1 plus 0 is 1. 29. Take the 9 out, the digital root is 2. Or 2 plus 9 is 11, 1 plus 1 is 2. And it goes on and on and on like that. No matter how many 9s are in the number, you can take all the 9s out and get the digital root. Let's say 299. 2 plus 9 is 11. 9 plus 11 is 20. The digital root is 2. 299. Take both 9s out. The digital root is 2. Multiplication, uh, it's difficult for me to say, is similar in that anything that you multiply by 9, the digital root will be 9. And if it's a single digit multiplication, the original multiplier 
will be actually one less the first number. For example, two plus nine, 18. One less than two is the one in front of the eight, which makes up the 18. Three plus nine is 27. Two is one less than three. Two plus seven is nine. Four plus nine is 36. Three is one less than four. Three plus six is nine. And it goes on. And then when you get into double digit numbers, it's always less the first multiplier by two. Let's do 10 by nine. 10 by 9 is 90. That's one less now, so I guess we've got to get up to 11. 11 times 9 is... 11 times 9 is... Uh, 90 is uh, 99. That's 2 less than 11. Uh, 9 plus 9 is 18. 1 plus 8 is 9 or you can just take all your nines away. Which is interesting, I never thought about that. If you take all your nines away from 99, that's, isn't that zero? Hmm, I'll have to do some more research on that's the first time I've ever hit a snag discussing the number nine. Now, also, people believe the universe is in the shape of a circle, and if we look, at the circle, every degrees in a circle, so digital root is nine, right? A right angle is 90, zero plus nine is nine, a 45 degree angle, four plus five is nine, uh, the full circle, 360 degrees, that's nine. No matter how much you cut the angle, you're always going to have a digital root of nine. Even in large number multiplication addition, you get some amazing magic. Zero times nine plus one is one. One plus nine plus two is 11. 12 plus nine plus three is 111. 123 plus nine plus four is 1,111. And it goes on and on and on to infinity. So nine has this ridiculous magic to it, right? Let's do it backwards. Nine times nine plus seven, 88. 98 times nine plus six is 888. 987 times nine plus five is 8,888. And that goes on forever, infinity. So nine is quite a mysterious number. It has almost all the numbers in itself. And it has all the universe in itself and outside of itself. I don't fully understand it. I've been studying the number nine for some time now. Uh, I think, you know, um, it could be just because we live inside of a, of a sphere uh, which might even prove that we live inside a sphere, that all the nines show up through the angles down to the digital root. I don't know. But nine is quite fascinating. You can basically predict certain behavior, certain future events. Um, I mean, the list goes on and on and on if you look for the pattern of nine. And uh, I'm not going to give you any examples of how to be a precog, like in the Minority Report with Tom Cruise. Pretty fascinating science fiction piece. But um, yeah, kind of the same idea as an Elliott wave. You get a group of data, and then the group of data supplies another bigger group of data, and then you get another huge group of data to the upside or to the downside depending on which if the, if the Elliott wave is inverted 
So it's quite a fascinating rabbit hole that you can find yourself in studying all the magic in the number nine. Um, I can't think of any other examples right now. I know this is a short video, but I wanted to get something uh, out there. It's been a while. I am currently selling my house and it's been taking a lot of my time. Uh, strangely enough, the more I fix up my house, the more I want to keep it. But I do think it's time to get on the road. Uh, but anyway, thank you for watching my uh, channel. Uh, please like, please subscribe, please share. And if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section. Have a great day.